Yo, what's going on guys? It's McCords here again, bringing you guys another video of Pokemon Go. I'm um, considering doing a Let's Play of this where, you know, I just walk around recording myself and recording the game, walking around with my friends, trying to find some cool stuff because I do have a lake nearby as you can see right there. But uh, a lot has happened. I reached level 9, I joined Team Mystic. If you don't know about gyms and stuff, go look that up. I'm not going to explain it in the, totally in this video because the game has been out for a while and tons of news has come out. And oh, a Zubat. I haven't even caught a Zubat yet and it's nearby actually. That'd be cool if it appeared, but I doubt it. So anyways, uh, as you can see, oh, there's a lore module going on. So if you guys don't know what a lore module is, basically someone puts one down and everyone near the Pokestop gets Pokemon attracted to it for a period of time. I'm not going to go over there right now, sadly. But, uh, yeah, I actually got one from leveling up, but I accidentally discarded it because I'm an idiot. But, uh, yeah. So, let's take a look at my Pokedex. Whoops. As you can see, I caught a Squirtle. I got all these cool Pokemons. And, um, yeah, let's just take a look at everything I've gotten. I got a Haunter, that was pretty terrible, and uh, yeah, so I did actually have a level 10, or not level 10, kil 10 kilometers egg, and guess what, it had an Eevee in it, which is the worst thing you can possibly get from that egg, but it's okay, so not really, I'm not really happy about it, but as you can see, I have my level 618 Vaporeon, this is my favorite Mon at the time, actually. Then you got my 408 Pidgeot, my 343 Raticate, 329 Beedrill, and uh, I'm trying to evolve this Venonat. So, basically, my tip for everyone would be to how to get uh, high CP, which is basically my topic for this video. Um, you're not, you may think just catch a higher Pokemon. Catching a higher Pokemon is awesome, a level 100 Nido King sweet. That is not true. Basically, you want to raise it from the smallest thing you can get. So let's say you find a level 160 P Pidgeotto. No matter how many Pidgeot Pidgey candies you have, which I don't know if you'll have a lot or not. I have a ton because there's so many Pidgeys. You're going to want to raise it from a Pidgey because every time it evolves, it gains a lot more than just catching a Pidgeotto and evolving that. Like, for example, my standard is I can only catch something over 120. Um, the only reason I still have these starters is just because they're starters, and I don't... I, I'm really sad. I'm not going to release starters now because it's going to take a while to evolve these Pokemon, but... Like, I, I raised this from a Pidgey. If I was to, for example, catch a... 60 Pidgey and then evolve it from there it would not be nearly as high as 408 So the higher the Pidgey the higher the Pidgeot's gonna be without having to power it up at all and powering it up Takes a lot of Stardust and it's just overall you want to power up after it becomes the final evolution um, This Beedrill I raised from a Weedle and um, I should have caught a higher level Weedle because if I did it would have been a totally higher thing But I only evolved like a level 70 Weedle and it only became a 329. You may still think to yourself, that's pretty good, but could be better. So that's basically how to get higher CP. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Go has been super fun. I'm really enjoying it. Here is the gym. Um, it's a yellow team. I could totally destroy this gym, actually. I should go take that on now. Maybe I will, but um, yeah, if you guys want me to 